Hey Scorpios, welcome to your weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 1st to the 11th. Hey guys, it's really good to see you. Um, for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first. That is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it can come from you directly or someone in your environment or someone that's energetically attached to you or someone you're energetically attached to. Either way, when you're energetically attached to someone, it goes both ways because it's energy, right? Um, so just keep that in mind as I go into this, okay? And then we'll get into the tarot reading. So Scorpios. <sighs> it's funny because I wasn't going to do water signs yet. I actually wanted to do the crystal month healing video first. And Scorpios, you were calling me. And I actually did Virgo. Oh, focus. I actually did Virgo. And there was a lot of Scorpionic energy in that reading. So Scorpios, there's something going on with your energy right now. Where's the moon? No, the moon's still in Virgo. The moon's still in Virgo. Yeah, there, there's something going on with your energy right now, Scorpio, where it's almost like surging. And people are really feeling your energy. And I gotta be honest, it's it's kind of scary <laughs> for a lot of people right now. I, I think some of you are triggered. Some of you are just going through some, some changes, some energetic changes. Maybe some of you are going through your own transmutation or upgrade in your own abilities or what have you for those who are light workers or those who have abilities who watch me a lot of people who watch me have abilities and go through a lot of that um but either way scorpio something has your energy all over the place and it's funny because very scorpionic you're like a tornado of energy right now but on the surface you're just like you're just scorpio you're just you and a little quiet at that very scorpionic for some of you this like it just feels like a whirlwind of energy like Oh my god, it's really intense, Scorpio. It's really, really intense, and it feels very passionate. It feels like it's being propelled out from your heart chakra, first and foremost. Um, for a lot of you, this is either anger, <laughs> straight up Scorpionic wrath and rage. Um, others of you, it's actually like passion, passion, creative energy. Again, heart, it's all, it all is coming from the heart chakra. I can feel it. it's all coming from the heart chakra. Passion, sexual energy, creative energy. Others, it's anxiety. Either way, Scorpios, you're surging, you're a tornado right now, and it's almost like you're commanding attention. See, it's like, even like the way I say it, I'm like, <laughs> you're commanding attention. Some of you, like I said, have been, definitely been triggered into this. Some of you, someone just ticked you off. Someone just said the wrong thing, did the wrong thing, or you just don't like how people are talking to you, people are coming at you, and you're just in your scorpionic stinger mode some of your stingers are primed and ready and you got a little bit more extra venom than usual i do not understand what's going on with you scorpios but that is what i'm getting from you guys some of you i do feel a bit of a missed opportunity like a rejection like a flat-out rejection of some sort so that could have just been what's triggered you keep in mind i think a lot of you haven't hit this energy yet i think some of you are just gonna be coming into this energy halfway just had it halfway maybe halfway into the week keep in mind it's energy so we all work through it differently and keep in mind this could also be someone feeling this way about you but Scorpio this feels very scorpionic okay it feels very very scorpionic um I also feel for some of you in this energy it's about being heard some of you don't feel heard some of you don't feel respected and you're and it's making you just like I don't keep wanting to do this <laughs> it's making you want to make people listen and I gotta be honest Scorpio some of you are so far into this energy that I, I I'm just being honest with what I get as the as a reader and what I'm getting intuitively that it's almost getting a little shadowy, Scorpios. It's almost getting a little shadowy. You might be know the Virgo, because I just heard Virgo, and there was a lot of Scorpionic energy in Virgo. There could be something there. Um, but either way, Scorps, it's it's almost like you're going to bow down to me. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy for some of you. Scorpios, please be careful of that. Please watch that. That feels a little ego-based. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. It feels a little ego based and it's a little scary. I do feel that there are people who want to approach you. I do feel one person in particular does want to approach you. And it could be the person that maybe for some of you who were triggered into this, because others, it's just something that's changing within you and you're having trouble grounding your energy. For some of you, it's purely just that, okay? And you're just struggling with that. Kind of like, what's a good example of this? Like, kind of like with like super power movies, super power movies. <laughs> like superhero movies if someone has a new ability they like can't control it right it's like for you know for those in that boat there's not too many of you in that boat a lot of you i think were just triggered into this by someone's actions or what they said um but either way scorpios like for those where it's more of that you just are having trouble grounding yourself okay and it's just really intimidating to a lot of people and it's putting you a little bit in that like chaotic defensive mode for those in that energy i feel like you're feeling more anxiety than anything else um Either way, Scorps, I do feel like someone wants to approach you. I feel like many people want to approach you right now. Um, 
And for those where you were triggered into this by someone's words or actions, it's that person that wants to approach you, but they're afraid. They're actually afraid. They feel, they feel like they can't come close to you right now. And that's what I mean by people can feel your energy. Scorpio, your energy is surging beyond yourself. People know it. They can see it. They can sense it from miles away for some people if they're gifted like that. Um, and it's a little scary to approach. Okay, so Scorpios, whatever's going on here, whether someone made you angry or you're going through some changes and it's making you anxious or you're passionate and you're, you're passionate and you're heated and you're feeling all turned on or whatever, whatever it is, Scorpio, your whirlwind tornado of scorpionic energy right now and your, 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 your stingers are primed and ready. This is probably not the time to approach a Scorpio. Okay. And actually I'm using a new deck today prompted by Virgos, by the way. So, and, and honestly, it felt very fitting for Scorpios. The Santa Muerte deck, sorry if I can't pronounce that correctly. I can't roll my R's very well. Um, I'll be putting a link down below for anybody who wants to purchase this deck for themselves. I get all my stuff from Amazon. I'm just putting it down there for convenience, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys ask me like about my decks and where I get them from. And I, you guys know I don't do pre-shuffle sessions anymore, but two cards came out when I was prepping the deck for you. And I really felt compelled that I had to show you. Okay, I'm just, and it's just two of the cards. More cards came out, but these two were very prominent. The Queen of Swords, Libra energy, could also be air or water with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Does this not look like a Scorpio you do not want to approach right now? <laughs> look at you, Scorpio. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when that came out, I was like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling from Scorpios. Scorpios, I do feel like a lot of you are in this state of also strategizing, planning, reevaluating where you are and making some changes accordingly. It is Virgo season. A lot of people are doing that. But Scorpios... You're a little scary to approach here. So especially with that seven of pentacles, I feel like this is what's going on inside. You see like those bars? It's not, are those bars or a window? Oh no, there are bars. Oh, wait a minute. That's interesting. Oh no, it's, um, oh, it's not that. What is it called? Abacus? Abacus. I think that's what it's called. Abacus? I know that that doesn't sound right at all. Basically the, the um, primitive form of a calculator, okay? <laughs> You're calculating shit. Scorpio, oh, 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 Scorpios, okay. Scorpios, I gotta be honest, some of you are planning a revenge here. I love you, Scorps. I love you to death. But like I said, those of you who are in the shadowy side of this energy, you're plotting. <laughs> you're seriously plotting some shit. Look at that. You're like, that person gets a point. That person gets a point. Oh, and I'm gonna do this. And it's like, oh shit, Scorpio. Please be careful with this energy. Don't let this energy turn you into a shadowy. Scorpio, don't let that, don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. Just ground yourself. <laughs> Shit. Ground yourself and breathe, okay? Because you're in a very calculating position right here, especially with the Queen of Swords energy. That is someone who is, oh, the camera just freaked out when I said that. Queen of Swords is a very calculated energy. Scor and like, I feel like you're focused, Scorpio. And that's what I mean. There's a tornado of energy and only a Scorpio could be like that, right? Where there's so much turmoil and craziness going on on the inside, but you still have that focus. You still have that focus to pinpoint the people that basically made you feel that way. And like I said, some of you, it's just you're going through some changes and you're just trying to ground yourself and figure that shit out. OK. Oh, Scorpios. OK, let's get into this reading. No wonder you guys flagged me down. Um, for those who are new to my channel or new to Tarot, please keep in mind these are very general readings. Not all these messages will apply to everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your message this week, that's totally fine. It's just meant for someone else. And clearly, there are some Scorps who got to hear this message. I'm a little scared to see what's coming out here for you guys. Um, also, guys, keep in mind that messages can be reversed. They can be vice versa because we're working with energy. Energy is fluid. It's not fixed. It's not linear. So if it's resonating but the roles are reversed, that's fine. It still resonates. Just switch it, okay? Also, don't hung, get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Scorpio, sorry, they're bringing my attention to Mars, which is your one, eight, one of your ruling planets, Mars. Um, some of you might just feel like you have intense energy right now, like, you, like physical energy and you can't exert it fast enough. Just make sure that you're working out, you know, that you have outlets for this energy, especially if your Mars is in Virgo, because we have Mars in Virgo during this time here. Um, yeah, if you have like a Mars, Scorpio, Aries, they're actually telling me signs. This is cool. They're actually telling me which sign placements to tell you. Mars, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, and Leo. Please be mindful of that. Please be mindful of that. Any messages? 
Any messages from us Scorpios? I keep hearing Virgo. Some of you guys are seriously with a Virgo or, you know, I picked that up in Virgo's reading too about Scorpios. This is interesting. Connection there for sure. Any messages for um, Scorpios? <laughs> Can I get it out? Any messages for Scorpios? Regarding love, yeah, do not get on the bad side of a Scorpio right now. Seriously, Scorpios, you are kind of a powerhouse right now. I can feel it. You guys are very much in very in strong energy, and you're very much a powerhouse right now. It is not the time to fuck with a Scorpio, okay? Some of the cross watchers out there. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. <laughs> oh my god, why am I getting this? I'm getting this energy of like, um like mobster why am i getting this kind of energy like almost like i don't know why i'm picking this up this is what they're giving to me i think it's just to really hit home like where scorpios are at right now for the cross watchers because scorpios i know y'all understand only scorpios really understand other scorpios <laughs> um but the cross watchers out there or for people who don't have this scorpionic energy about them it's like they're they're almost giving me this energy of like head honcho head boss right a little mobstery a little like you know, not exactly pristine in, in what is done behind closed doors, right? And it's like someone's approaching to talk and it's almost like, choose your words carefully. It's very, um, oh, Scorpio, what is going on? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. If any of you have to deal with Scorpios right now, be very tactful in what you say. Be very tactful in what you say. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Some of you are seeing right through people right now. I think that's also why some of you guys are a little triggered. Some of you are seeing right through people's bullshit. Right through people's bullshit. Oh, that's also, okay, sorry. This is for the cross watchers, clearly. I guess I got a lot of cross watchers for Scorpio. Um, be very careful in what you say to Scorpios right now because of this energy. There's something about their intuition that's really on point and they're seeing right through people, like more so than usual. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Planetarily speaking, it doesn't, really makes sense as to why that would be maybe just because it's hermity energy and when we go within we our intuition tends to peak a little bit more okay that is it thank you spirit that is it <laughs> little getting a lot of downloads here be careful with what you say because even if you use the wrong word like unintentionally a scorpio will see that's the wrong word and they might they might perceive it as a little bit of a threat or a little bit as like um trying to deceive them okay so just be mindful of that any messages for Scorpios regarding love? Some of you are hearing people's thoughts for the first time. Some of you are hearing people's thoughts for the first time and it's making you a little crazy. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. <sighs> Scorpio, whatever's going on in your heart chakra, that's where all this energy is coming from. It's really intense. It's making my chest really heavy. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? You're definitely in your Emperor, Empress, oh, power, and then I heard High Priestess. Okay, it's more High Priestess energy. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Ooh. Ooh. Any messages for Scorpio regard? let's see what we got here. Okay. We have, ooh, interesting. Tame the beast. I just heard tame the beast. Eight of wands in reverse. Sag energy with temperance. More Sag energy. So Scorpios, you could be Scorp Sag Cuspers or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, not necessarily. But it's a lot of Sag energy going on here. And the only Sag placement I know of right now is Jupiter. Jupiter is home in Sag right now and it is direct. Um, but temperance with eight of wands in reverse, there's major miscommunication on the board here and misaction. I'm also hearing misaction. Misaction and miscommunication. Temperance is here to balance that out. Tame the beast. Scorpio, tame the beast, okay? Tame the stinger. Tame the stinger here, okay? Um, temperance is also my uh, fix-it angel, my divine intervention card. I do feel like that's happening here for some of you. <sighs> yeah, for some of you, your energy is so... I don't, and guys, don't be offended by what I'm saying. I'm just the messenger here. But your energy feels very out of control, even if on the surface you're controlled. That's a very scorpionic trait. That's a very scorpionic trait. Like, Scorpios will deliver that that really awful sting, and they'll say it very calmly. Like, they're saying, like, you know, like they're petting a kitty. You know what I mean? It's a, It can be a little unnerving for some people. Um, but Scorpio, some of you are actually getting divine help here to try and ground, to try and help you ground, to try and 
tame the beast here so just be mindful of that like if your guides feel a little closer than usual or if you're getting messages and synchronicities it, it's it's to remind you like hey kind of like rein it in find your grounding spot find your sweet spot i'm also getting that for some people this person that wants to approach i feel like i, I definitely feel like for some of you were triggered by someone and i do feel they want to approach to kind of mellow things out with you yeah, to balance things out with you, to balance things out with you. Try to have patience right now, Scorpio. I know you hate that word. I know, I know. Every Scorpio hates that word, patience. But Scorpio, you need to have patience right now because your energy is not grounded. I'm sorry, it's just not. It's just not. Any messages for Scorpios? It's in your best interest to be patient right now. Wow. Ooh. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. New deck, sorry. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Shit. Virgo energy. Oh, man. And Four of Cups. Scorpionic energy. Oh, Scorps. Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpios. Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone's definitely pissed. This could definitely be your energy. Um, this is a very angry energy. Someone feels like they lost. Someone feels like they lost. And Scorpios, you don't like to lose. I just heard... <laughs> I just heard one of you go, I don't lose. <laughs> oh, Scorpios. Some of you could be this Queen of Wands energy where you're feeling like something was taken from you or that you lost something very significant, something that was really important to you, something that brought you a lot of stability, a lot of comfort. And this Four of Cups energy, it's kind of like, um, why does this feel separate? It almost feels separate. For some of you, you lost something, someone took something from you or was responsible for, for the loss of something. And this Four of Cups energy, I feel like they don't have, do they have remorse or no? It's an energy of remorse, but I'm almost like, oh, that's what it is. They're remorseful, you think they're not. They're remorseful, you think they're not remorseful, okay? Oh, Scorpios, I gotta be honest. For some of you, this is someone you're battling with. Oh. For some of you, Scorpios, this is someone you're battling with. Someone wants to blame you for something, and that's triggering you. See, you see how intense like my face. I just looked at my face. I was like, oh shit, I look intense. Um, Scorpios, for some, this is someone who's challenging you, who wants to challenge you, and they bl they blame you. They blame you for their loss of something. I don't feel like it's accurate though. I don't feel like they can blame you for whatever it is they're trying to blame you for. They don't want to take responsibility. Thank you for it. This Four of Cups energy, they don't really want to look at it. They don't want to look at their role in it, but they're angry with you and they're blaming you because they want to blame someone and they can't blame themselves. And it's triggering you. It's triggering you. Oh, Scorpio. All right, let's see what else we got here. Patience, patience, breathe, Scorpio. <laughs> patience and breathe. Ooh. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Yeah, okay, take those two. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? So we got two of the cards out here. We'll see what they are. I didn't get to see them. They're face down. Oh. Uh-oh. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card, and then four of wands in reverse Aries energy. I feel like someone stepped out on a foundation to have something on their own. Scorpio, I think someone's seeing you this way. Others, you're seeing someone this way. Either way, it almost feels like a blame game. It feels a little bit like a blame game, Scorpio. Someone stepped out on a foundation that they built with someone to have abundance on their own. Very strong. Very, very strong. Like, I could have more if I don't deal with you. That's kind of how that feels. And someone did do it. Someone left to have their own abundance. And Scorpio, some of you are getting blamed for this. So Scorpio, someone is blaming you for someone walking out on them. Cut. Okay, some of you, there's a third party situation. So Scorpios, let's come back. Let's come back. Because this is different energy I'm picking up for different messages for you guys. So for some of you, someone's pissed at you, putting the blame game on you because they don't want to look at their own situation, their role in their own situation. I feel like this person got stepped, this Queen of Wands in reverse got stepped out on because someone realized that it was better for them to do that. And for some reason you're getting the blame for that, which is wrong and it's triggering you. <laughs> it's triggering you and it's making you wanna put this person in their place. Oh yeah, Scorpio, it's making you wanna put this person in their place. And they don't know who they're messing with. 
they don't know what kind of sh they don't know what kind they don't know what they're doing they don't know what i kind of feel bad for this person now granted like i said this person doesn't want to look at the situation between them and this person which had nothing to do with you really had nothing to do with you but they want to blame you they want to blame someone they can't blame themselves i don't know why they're not blaming this person who stepped out on them oh they oh no they are they are but they really are gunning for you scorpio and it's like for some reason they think they can they think they can what mess with you mm, okay anyway um scorpios others of you um you're feeling like something was taken from you you're feeling like you lost out on something and that you feel the other person isn't remorseful that they don't really care in reality they do in reality they do here in reality they do and either way there's there's someone here standing alone in their abundance scorpios i feel like you are standing alone in your abundance i feel like you're doing that for sure but for those where you feel like someone took something from you you still have you still have a good amount of whatever it is you think you lost you do but scorpios you got to ground yourself to see that you have to ground yourselves to see that. And for some of you, it's like you also need to recognize that maybe this wasn't your best interest. Like, what again, whatever this person took from you, it just feels like a missed opportunity because you have a nine of pentacles here, but ten of pentacles in reverse, they might have just took a pentacle. It might have just been an opportunity to get more of what you already have. You understand what I'm saying? Either way, you're triggered. You're triggered. Overall energy, wow, ace of swords in reverse with... The high priestess in reverse underneath that so funny how i said high priestess earlier piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader the truth is out truth is out you know secrets are being revealed any lies that have taken place are being revealed and scorpio for whatever reason i really feel strongly you're getting the brunt of blame here which i feel like is very misplaced and others of you you're pissed at someone for taking away an opportunity that you felt was yours but like i said scorpio you still have a lot you still have a lot okay so just know that it's just the fact that you feel disrespected scorpio i think that's what it is it's like the fact that you feel that someone can like pull one over on you or that someone could blame you for something that you had nothing to do with or that you just feel blatantly disrespected sorry i'm like i'm really feeling your some of you okay i'm tapping into those who are angry I'm tapping into those who are angry here in this situation keep in mind this is not gonna be for everybody i'm picking up on a lot of different messages for different people yeah, I'm getting a lot of anger with this. I'm like, I'm even like doing this with my hands. Some of you, some of you are so triggered because you feel like someone tried to control you or control a situation. That's a very quick way to getting stung by a Scorpio, just saying. Anyway, so let's move over here to the Eight of Wands universe and Temperance. So like I said, Scorpios, practice patience here because there is a lot of, your energy is not grounded right now. It is a little out of control. It's a little tornado-y. Um, others, this is about healing a situation where there was a lot of miscommunication or a lot of misaction. So let's look at the Eight of Wands in reverse to see where this tornado is coming from for some of you. Uh, I'm use right away for this one. Actually, no. I'm use Gilded. I'm use Gilded Tarot for this one. Woo! So I have an Eight of Wands in reverse. So I have an Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm seeing so much red here. So I have an Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love temperance in reverse first card out sag energy so yeah whatever this miscommunication is and or was or misaction is or was and your your tornado -y energy your triggeredness your scorpionic wrath whatever label you want to put on it for you and your situation temperance in reverse it has no balance to it it has no balance to it i'm getting a lot of impatience for those where you're angry okay because like i said some your energy is just out of control because you're going through some changes others it's anxiety but some of you it's anger also some of you it's like sexual energy like being almost too turned on or something um but totally out of control totally out of control scorpios i'm just the messenger i felt something get a little triggered when i said that i remember what triggers are Triggers just mean we gotta heal stuff. I can't believe we're at 24 minutes, Scorpio. I guess there had to be a lot of stuff to come up for Scorpio today. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. Oh, I knew someone was trying to come in here. All right, so we had four cards just come out. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. Like I said, I felt Virgo-y. <laughs> felt like you were dealing with, with some of you dealing with Virgo. Not necessarily, though. Uh, Virgo energy can also be Earth or Fire with the Three of Swords. Libra energy with the Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. 
Scorps, I feel like you're the Empress here and the High Priestess. Some of you are both. Some of you are one or the other in your energy. In your energy. High Priestess is about the intuitive portion of you. Empress is more about the action and doing and nurturing part of you. Okay, so take that as it resonates. And the Death card. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> Scorpionic energy. Scorpio, someone hurt you. Like flat out, someone hurt you. That Three of Swords with the Empress, someone hurt you and put you heavy in your Scorpionic energy here. Heavy in your Scorpionic energy. Some of you, like I said, this caused a change for you. And whatever change you're going through that's causing your energy to be out of control. Um, it's a good change though. It's a good change. And others, like I said, they just, they just fucking hurt you. They just hurt you. Others, you're getting news of a third party situation, like I said. For some, it's like this Queen of Wands in reverse is pissed that someone ran out on them or left them. Because this person who left them felt like they would have a lot more abundance on their own and it was a healthy decision. And I think it was, but for some reason you're getting the blame of that. So if you're getting the blame, Scorpio, it might be because maybe you just know this person. Maybe you got blamed for telling them something that you maybe even didn't say. Either way, this Queen of Wands is associating you with the person that ran out on them and you're hearing about it. Some of you are hearing about it for the first time and it's sending you into your Scorpionic energy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Okay? Wow. Okay. Ooh, let's keep it going. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. Oh, shit. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. And like I said, Scorpio, because of your surging energy, someone's having a lot of trouble confronting you. Oh, fuck it. Sorry. I didn't mean to curse. I've been cursing a lot since we got into Virgo energy. So the last... <coughs> <laughs> last clarifying card king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra i feel like this is the person who ran out on this queen of wands and for whatever reason this queen of wands associates you with that this person this person might have told this queen of wands that it was you who that you're the reason they left I feel a little bit of a coward energy with this. I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit of a coward energy. King of Swords in a verse is someone who doesn't communicate very properly or who's a little bit of a manipulator. I feel like this coward, this coward, I was gonna say king. <laughs> I feel like this king was a coward to this Queen of Wands because when this Queen of Wands questioned, why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Oh, uh, Scorpio. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Oh yeah. Because overall energy, we got the Queen of Wands in reverse for this Eight of Wands in reverse energy, for this, your energy being out of control. Queen of Wands in reverse, again, Aries energy could also be fire or water. And like I said, for some of you, um, you blame this King of Swords for taking away something of yours. If it's just between you and this person, you blame this King of Swords for stepping out on you or taking something from you or the loss of something. And you feel like they're not remorseful. They are. They're just a coward. They're just a coward, female or male. They're just a coward. But either way, Scorpios, for those in that situation where it's between you and a king of swords and they took something from you or you feel like you lost something because of them, you still have a lot. You still have a lot. You're not at a loss here. You're not in the red, just anger. But <laughs> you're not in the red in, a, in an accounting standpoint, okay? So just know that. Just know that. Wow. Oh, Scorpios. So to paraphrase, your energy's out of control. Because this king, this, we'll just call them the coward. I keep, coward keep wanting to come out. Because this coward blamed you for something they did to another person. And this person who is angry about it is stepping to you, forcing you into a bit of a rage or forcing your energy to be out of control or to become imbalanced. Um, you're getting news of some, some of you are getting news of some kind from about a king of swords that's heartbreaking, sending you into a bit of a change um, energy, a death energy. And others of you blame this King of Swords for taking something from you, taking an opportunity from you, but Scorpios, you still have a hell of a lot. You basically have what you walked into the situation with, okay? So you're not at a loss. It's not a real loss. Either way, overall, <sighs> secrets are out. Truth is out. Truth is out, okay? Um, what do I want to clarify next? I want to look at this Ten of Pentacles in a verse. Let's look at this Ten of Pentacles in verse, because this is the loss or the person being walked out on. So maybe we can get more details to this situation as to how this really went down and transpired. Let's look at this Rider Waite deck here. 
Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Hmm. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. For some of you, all of this already happened. And what's causing your energy to be out of control is this person, this coward, is confronting you now about some of the shit that already happened in the past. And you're not happy about it. <laughs> in that case, I think they do kind of just want to talk about it and make amends. But that's only for some of you. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. September 1st, the 11th. Don't play, don't play the blame game with a Scorpio. Shit, play it with fire if you do that. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You know, when I think about it, I guess Scorpio would be kind of like a fiery water sign when I really think about it, because you have Mars and Pluto, and you're a water sign. Yeah, that's interesting. I just made that connection. Anyway, justice in reverse. Yeah, Libra energy. You or this Queen of Wands in reverse feels like it was an injustice if, again, if you lost something because of this King of Swords, or this Queen of Wands got stepped out on because of a King of Swords, and the King of Swords blamed you. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Yeah, someone feels like they lost their chance at happiness. Someone feels like they lost their Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Whew. I can feel you guys calming down though, that feels good. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse see here wow three of cups in reverse cancerian energy with the nine of pentacles virgo energy overall energy for the ten of pentacles in reverse yeah ace of cups in reverse and four of cups in reverse cancerian energy yeah someone feels rejected in love flat out someone feels rejected in love here so scorpios like i said for some of you you feel like you've been rejected in a love opportunity here but at the end of the day you're not losing anything you still have what you walked into the situation with, so just know that. So calm the energy. Calm the energy here. Um, others, this Queen of Wands was left by someone, was left by a King of Swords, and they blamed you, Scorpio. It's like when the Queen of Swords asked them, why are you leaving, why are you leaving? They basically said, I don't love you, and I'm leaving because of Scorpio. And this Queen of Wands confronts you, total shit show okay total sm total scorpionic smackdown essentially is what happens um and especially looking at this energy with justice in reverse the ten of cups the three of cups in reverse and nine of pentacles someone's ending up single that's that nine of pentacles energy double confirmation there um i feel three of cups in reverse is ending a third party situation so scorpios you might not have even known about this queen of wands you might not have even known some of you might have some of you might not have but either way this person st stepping out on this queen of wands was ending a third party situation. But with Nine of Pentacles, it's like, oh, is this your energy? Is that why? Okay, Scorpios, yeah. I feel like someone was in a commitment, like an actual commitment, and they ended it because of you. They, I think that actually is the true reason. It actually is the true reason. Okay, so that's interesting. But that's not your fault, <laughs> Scorpio. That ain't your fault. Okay, it is not your fault. Um, people leave because they wanna leave. That's why it's not your fault. But did they leave because maybe they want to come and scoop you up? Probably. Okay, probably. And hence the blame for the falling apart of a relationship or a commitment of some kind. Okay? And Scorpios, others of you, you lost this opportunity in love because um, someone just wanted to be single. Because someone just wanted to be single. Or they could have been wanting to be with someone else. Okay? Wow. Let's look at the sign of pentacles and then we'll go ahead and pull some advice. <laughs> Again, shit show. I'm gonna use Spellcaster's deck here to clarify the, the sign of pentacles. And Scorpios, like I said, either way, you haven't lost anything. It might feel like you have, but you haven't lost anything. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. For Scorpio regarding love September 1st to the 11th and like I said Scorpios for some of you 
all of this already happened and you're just getting confronted by this coward I, I hate to use that word but that's the word they keep giving me this king of swords energy and it's bringing full truth and clarity to the situation but it's also kind of sending you into a bit of a rage okay it's making your energy surge out of control or you've already been surging out of control and that's why this person's having trouble confronting you on this okay so just keep that in mind for some of you this already happened it's just the it's just the conversation of closure to come okay so the nine of pentacles for scorpio regarding love september 1st to the 11th Time of the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Time of the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Let's see what else we got out here. Oh. Wow. Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Lo loss of a wish fulfillment. Time about Nine of Pentacles. Damn it. Really? And then Ace of Pentacles in a verse, a missed opportunity. Scorpio's like, like I said, for some of you, you feel like you lost. You didn't lose. You still have the Nine of Pentacles. You haven't lost. For those, again, where you're blaming this king for taking something away from you, they didn't take anything away from you. You haven't lost. You haven't lost. And for others, like I said, where you're getting blamed by a Queen of Wands, they're looking at you pissed as hell. Like, that motherfucking Scorpio stole my life. <laughs> like, they're, they're, like, cursing under their breath at you. Oh, man. They're cursing your name, man. They're cursing your name, Scorpio. Keep in mind, they are a queen of wands, so be very careful. They know how to manipulate energy. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. But then again, you're Scorpio. I'm not worried about you guys. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Yeah, you're definitely getting blamed. You're a Scorpio. You're definitely getting blamed for something here for some of you. Um, that's too many cards. I'm not taking that. Tell the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell about Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Tell about Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell about Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Nine of Pentacles in a verse, Virgo energy, and the Eight of Wands in a verse, Sag energy. Here's the tornado, Scorpio. Here's the tornado. For those where you're getting blamed, this Queen of Wands wants to get under your skin, okay? For those where you're getting blamed, they want you to lose your shit. Like I said, Scorpio, stay grounded. Stay grounded with this. They want to take away your stability. They see you as someone who's very stable, who's very strong, who's very independent, and the fact that they got ran out on someone and they blamed you for, for leaving them, they pointed the finger at you like, oh, Scorpio's the reason I'm leaving you. It just made them go insane and with anger towards you, okay? Cursing your name and all kinds of shit. Be very careful, Scorpio. They really want to take you down. They can't. I really feel strongly they can't. Just stay grounded here, okay? Just stay grounded. I know you're angry. I know your energy is all over the place. That's fine. Take that calculated energy that we saw in the beginning, the two cards I showed you, the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Calculate the shit out on how you want to handle this person, okay? And for others where it's like you, you're looking at someone like, okay, you stole, you, you basically took away this opportunity where I could have had a Ten of Cups um, or, you know, could have had a Ten of Cups with you. Like I said, it's making your energy go a little <clears throat> haywire. So just watch that stinger. Watch that stinger. Overall, we have the star, Aquarian energy. Scorpios, like I said, you haven't lost anything. For those where this person just, you felt like someone just took something from you. You haven't lost anything. You haven't lost anything. You're very blessed, actually, is what I'm getting with this. You're very blessed, and your guides are very close to you. It's also why you have temperance here. Um, spirit's very close to you in this. Spirit's backing you in this. You can't be touched. You can't be touched in this. You haven't lost anything, Scorpio. You haven't lost. And again, also this energy where you're getting blamed, and someone's looking at you like, that's my target. Scorpio's my target, let alone they don't know who they're messing with or who they're about to try to mess with. Um, they can't touch you. They can't touch you. They think they can, but they can't. Okay? They can't. Either way, Scorpio, I do see a lot of healing energy here with Sag and Aquarius energy with Temperance and um, with Star. I keep saying Aquarius. With Temperance and Star. Um, 
stay as grounded as possible. And for those of you who are feeling hurt, definitely try to heal through this as gracefully as you can, okay? All right, let's pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? They're telling me patience again. Patience and breathe. Patience and breathe. Patience and breathe. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? I feel bad calling this person a coward. Sorry, like I, they keep telling me that, but I feel bad calling them that. That just sounds like a really harsh word. I think maybe they just were in a really funky spot with this person and they didn't know what to say. I, I'm not I'm not trying to justify them or pacify what they did, but I just, I feel bad calling them a coward, but that's the words that my guides used. Um, anyway, I guess I just felt the need to say that. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, interesting. Capricorn got this one too. I think it was Capricorn. Uh, skunk spirit, know your worth. 54 breaking down to a nine. Scorpio, you know yourself. I think this is about just you knowing who you are. You know yourself. You know what you, you know, you know, you know, you know, okay? You know what's worth your time and what's not worth your time. If you're getting confronted by someone who wants to play the blame game, just do not engage. Because you are better than that. You are a freaking empress, okay? Don't lose your class in this situation, okay? It's also what I'm getting. Don't lose your class in this. Don't let this person take you to a low vibrational place. Don't let them take you down to their level because you're you're worth a hell of a lot more than that. You're better than that. You're better than that. And for those where some, you feel like you lost an opportunity of love, it's okay, Scorpio. You didn't lose anything. You didn't lose anything. And you are a very high valued asset. Like I said, you're an empress. You're an empress. That's 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 high price. High price. Oh, I just was about to say something else. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. <laughs> that was a little bit of a guttery comment that wanted to come out. I think you guys know what wanted to come out. I'm not gonna say it. This is YouTube. I'm not supposed to say things like that. But you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Scorpios. You're an empress. You're an empress and you deserve the best. Okay? Any advice for my Scorpios? And honestly, for those where it's like this person, you lost a love opportunity because this person, they're, they're, they realize what they're missing out on. They know. They know, Scorpio. Oh, wow. Scorpio, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57, breaking down to a three. And stag spirit, take the lead with 58. This is a progression energy. This is moving forward. I feel like this is a person who wants to approach you. For those where this is a past situation and someone's coming forward here to address it finally after it's, it's already happened, they're having a lack of confidence in approaching you because your energy is crazy right now. You're very intimidating right now. You're in your empress energy. You're in scorpionic energy. And this is advice to them, to the person that wants to address this talk about this be honest about what happened or you know reveal all truth have the courage be alpha about it match scorpio in their alphaness right now because scorpio you're very alpha right now with this energy surging um and it can be done it can be done okay let's see what else we got here approach with respect i just heard approach with respect any advice for scorpios any advice for scorpios any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, <laughs> antelope spirit, life is speeding up with the energy of two and frog spirit, clear out the clutter, 28 is a cyclical energy. So yeah, Scorpios, this antelope spirit, I feel like is about your energy and how it's kind of taken over a little bit. Clear it out. That's what this is saying. Usa, usa. Just find your grounding, breathe it out if you have to, and calm yourself, and then you can, you can handle the situation appropriately, okay? That's all that's saying. Overall, snake spirit, time to heal, the energy of 55. So like I said, some of you feel like you lost an opportunity in love, that you feel like you lost your 10 of cups, you didn't lose anything. Scorpio, you, you, you're leaving with what you came in with, okay? And that's a win. That's always a win. Um, and it's just about healing that, right? But also, the situation where you're getting blamed, 
there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here for this person who's blaming you and they got to do that for themselves like i said you know your value you know yourself you know what you did or didn't do and it's not your fault this person got left it's not your fault 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 and they have to heal those wounds they can't come to you and blame you and feel like that's getting justice in some way it's not your fault scorpio unless you like flat out like i don't know you know what i'm trying to say scorpio people leave people because they want to leave people that's just the truth at the end of the day and this person's having a really hard time with that and i think they hard pressed this king for an answer and this king was probably like i just i don't love you i don't love you and that wasn't good enough like they didn't believe that they just didn't love them anymore or just fell out of love with them and they went well scorpio you know because their answer wasn't good enough it's the kind of energy i'm picking up but anyway scorpios overall very intense read stay grounded get your energy under control <laughs> don't rip this person's throat out that's blaming you and for those where you feel like you lost an opportunity in love it's totally fine you didn't lose anything you didn't lose anything and you are you know what i wanted to say okay so you're fine you're fine scorpios truth is coming out and this is what happens when truth comes out don't blame the blame play the blame game with scorpio don't try to control with scorpio they'll bite your freaking head off okay all right guys i'll see you later i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on instagram facebook and twitter have a great night namaste